Hey guys, this is Tyler Barrett, AKA T Breezy with Solitaire Homes. And today I wanted to show you what makes a solitaire a solitaire. I wanted to show you the part of the home that you don't typically get to see while you're out there shopping around. So I'm gonna start with our frame. So our Pete, he is the uh, CEO of Solitaire and he actually lives in a solitaire. So this is the tongue of the frame itself and Pete calls this a three man tongue. Reason being, it usually takes about three guys to pick this up and I'm not gonna show off right now. Um, but, but from the tongue, another very uh, uh, big thing that sets Solitaire apart is our collar. It's a forged steel. It's about a quarter thick underneath here, wrapped all the way around. Uh, so it's, you just know you have to have forged steel, a big frame to move a big house. So the, uh, the tongue right here is connected to the frame itself by eight different bolts. So as far as the frame goes, it is uh, 12 inch American steel. It is, um, yeah, so 12 inch thick American steel. It's I-beams. It has outriggers that go the entire length of the home all the way to the exterior walls. Uh, and one thing, you know, while you're shopping around, it just makes the home a lot more sturdy is, is feel underneath the wall. See if you can feel outriggers. It's something, you know, extremely, extremely valuable to have. As you can tell, we can, we have one every few feet. Uh, but another thing I wanted to talk about is on top of that frame, we use two by eight floor joists and then a plywood decking on top of that. We use two by four bottom plates, two by four top plates. The top plates connect the roof to the exterior wall. Bottom plates connect the exterior wall to the floor itself. So underneath the frame, yeah, as you can see, again, 12 inch thick I-beam steel goes the entire length of the home. Uh, and then your outriggers that connect all the way to the exterior walls. Another thing I wanna talk about really quick is all of our frames are manufactured at Solitaire plants themselves, including our wheels and axles. So our wheels and axles, again, manufactured at Solitaire, they can hold up to 7,500 pounds per wheel uh looks like there's about six under here rough math about forty-five thousand pounds is what these wheels, uh, wheels and axles will hold to give you a rough idea of how expensive this or how heavy this house is excuse me um so another really cool thing about solitaire is uh to keep the frame from moving so much around is they're reverse cambered so every single frame is built for the floor plan itself so this frame is or this home is an 18 by 84 it's a 1360 square feet um, again, just very, very, very heavy. But in between the outriggers, uh, as far as your cross members, we do Z channel cross members. Um, so if you think about a Z, it, uh, it has three lines that goes with it. So it has a lot more bends in the metal. The more bends in the metal, typically the more rigid it is, the more strong it is. So a lot of the competitors will use a Z channel cross member, um, or C channel cross member, sorry. Uh, and while it's in transport, it's just moving constantly, constantly. A Z just has a lot more sturdiness to it. But yeah, that's uh, the frame of the solitaire home. Come by the model center, ask for T Breezy.